Are you someone that has a goal of having a second property, whether it be a cabin or even somewhere to live half the year? This is a fairly common retirement goal, and with so many people unable to take vacations due to the changed world in 2020, I'm seeing second properties rise in importance to people. Properties are often quite expensive, and there are a few things to keep in mind as you either dream or actively search. First, the expense. If you were to take a luxury trip around the world, this is an expense that would hopefully create a great experience, but at the end you would have nothing to show for it financially. But a second property costs more, but keep in mind, property is still an asset, so it's not as much spending on a property as it is a form of investing. Properties do, however, have significant holding costs in the form of property tax, maintenance, and probably mortgage payments. History suggests that most properties should go up in value something like 3 or 4% on average, but this is variable and properties can go way up or way down in value more easily than many anticipate. So if a property might go up in value a little bit each year, approximately counteracting the holding costs associated, this means you have a big asset but it not really working hard for you financially. So if you had, say, a $300,000 cabin earning essentially nothing as compared to where it was previously invested, say earning 6%, you'd be giving up the $18,000 per year the money would have earned if it remained invested. Could this person be happy spending $18,000 annually on nice vacations as compared to buying the second property? This oftentimes ends up being the real question to answer. Thanks for watching this week's brief.